back in the Civic this time, interior wise. Gonna get rid of this head unit. Gonna put in this bad boy Apple CarPlay unit. So I'm gonna be very happy about that. Normal cassettes. So what? This is what I've been rocking for the last couple of weeks for the same song on repeat. Run DMC. It's like that, and that's the way it is. I've got the Dr. Dre 2000 and Wow album. Well, I've been playing that as well, but that's been funny. Like you'd be listening to a song and then you sort of jump to another song. So what we're going to do is going to whip this old head unit out um, and then get going. Let's get rocking and kind of. Yeah, so it's quality fit item as you can see. Nothing was really plugged in properly, but hey, oh, maybe the last I want to. Let's check that out the window. So we that's the radio. So obviously that's the existing harness. And uh, there. Interior. Oh, but I've got the plug and play unit as well. Is that a plug and plug and play one as well? So I've got another set of wires in the boot as well. And that's just the screen, dude. Just the screen. Yeah. Screen is a couple of wires, like the antennas and some other stuff. Okay, might be that other unit. That other... That one's obviously going to plug into the back of the stereo. Yeah. Yeah, that does. That doesn't want to plug into there, is it? Nope, nope, nope. No. Trying to think, I got it at the box in the, um, in the back of my. Hang on, what's the wires, Jim? What wires are they? That's amp control. Yeah. Brake. Brake? Yeah. What do you mean brake? Don't know. Not entirely sure. K2, K1. Okay. No idea. Antenna control. I don't know. Usually, um, usually every other one I've done, amp control is blue and white. Hmm. But, oh well. These are all canvas units, I'm guessing. So canvas in. Yeah, some of the stuff in it, you can have like, um, you can read the cards, diagnostic and stuff, if you buy some stuff for it. Yeah. Well, that's like a SIM card thing, so right. if you want to have like the internet, put your, you put your SIM in there. Pretty cool. Yeah, I think we're going to need the other harness there, so obviously it's not Alright, cool. We'll be back in a bit while I grab the other harness from the, from the boot. So alright guys, I've plugged in the other adapter that I bought off eBay, it was a... Um, I'm not really a fan of splicing and stuff, you can avoid it, avoid it. That way you keep it all oily and there's no sort of niggles. Um, so yeah, this one is off eBay, specifically for my car. It's about six quid shipped, so happy days. That's that point, point of view. Uh, we'll get this going and plug it into the rest of the harness. <clears throat> so, it'll only go in one way, like they won't go in. Yeah. But if you have to, just count the pins. Oh, so. okay. Which would happen if I went around. Yeah, I was gonna say. There's right, me right. giving people electrics. There you go. Cool. That's, that's life easier. <clears throat> I guess now it's gonna be. Throw it in, John. No, so. so, what we do with the rest of the wires then? Because obviously, half of them we don't need to plug in, do we? So, well, yeah, yeah, a lot of these you're probably not gonna use. Yeah. Um, That's just obviously, as you say, a piece of yeah. guarding. Yeah. <clears throat> what you're doing with that. Yeah, so that part of the unit you can. Surf the internet and stuff, so you need to put like a 4G SIM in. So, if we want, we can just make sure it works. The, the screen, yeah, yep, yep. maybe. It's in that little box. This one. Oh, what do you need? Oh, so many different wires. Yeah. Happy days. It's gonna be funny, you know. I'm gonna have this like one day, and then I'm gonna give the car away to be worse with it. Oh well. Your hands best not be dirty. Dirty my screen. <laughs> there we go. This should be like a ribbon. Yeah. Turn, touch. Then if this goes, this going. Oh, we have light. Okay. <clears throat> Head units that way around. Let's not yeah, bust the ribbons. Oh, happy days. Yeah. Well, speakers work. 
the right the um, aerial and plugged in yet. So yeah. I have my radio, but they work. Okay, settings. Happy days. I'm more interested about the nav, man. Obviously, the aerial is not plugged in. <coughs> mm -hmm. Why Pongo? That's it. Oh, we're, we're still in Russia. That's it, man. We're Russia life. <coughs> okay, so. We flick all the ignition off and stuff. Ignition off. Key out. So, we're all off now. Right. And we can unplug this again. Cool. Get out of the way. Nice you can take that with you in it, so like the, yeah, like the old, old school head units. Okay, I'll start plugging in the rest of the thing. So you want this, which is aerial adapter, maybe DAB. There's a few, dude. There's quite a few. It did I say know, I... on one of them somewhere. Alright, oh, this is the GPS. Oh, okay, that's the GPS one. So I'll grab that one out. I don't know where we're going to stick it as well. It's gonna be somewhere. Somewhere. That'll be rooted for the vent. No. No, that would be. You'd have to go through. You'd have to just run it. Somewhere. No. Like... Bottom is like take these out. But then you, you've got the tubes. Remember. Yeah. You have to make a hole in the tube for it to come back through. Yeah, we're not doing that. <clears throat> um. What if you took it down? You know, we took the panel out. Yeah, you can always set the panel out and then to, 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 yeah. It's just where you want to run it across there, then across the top of here, over there, maybe. Mm. It's got a sticky panel, just put it here, innit? You wanted to? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I was going to run it around, around here, innit? So that way the wire is accessible, it's the same thing in it, because it's got the USB wire in it, so I'm going to run my. This is the more important one <clears throat> for my phone calls. So. And to have a lot of in call chats, and I want to have this. Why well, would you route this into the glove box? Okay. So you know, when I'm putting my memory stick in for the music, then that way, um, there's plenty of light room and a gap in it. <clears throat> yeah, you can do that. You're like, Hoo oh, electric van. Oh, he's taking the scooter. Away. That's yeah, okay, so anyway, long story short, if you want to. We could probably feed that through the side of there. Mm. So why don't we just put it forward in the glove box then? Uh, will it still receive signal? But here, look. Mm. It's there. Oh, okay. So you could stick it somewhere under there if you wanted to. Yeah. <clears throat> That's mean? fine. We'll just stick it down there, innit? Oh, well, let's yeah. just leave it out, leave it hang, hanging for a bit, innit? So let this sat. Sort out the. So, forward G. Ah, oh, GPS there. GPS there in the corner. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll plug this in. The wire obviously doesn't need to be that long, so yeah. have you got any little cable ties or anything? You just stick the, it in I haven't actually. We can use one of those. Uh, We've got the one of them wire ones in it. <clears throat> you know what it came with? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, this unit is a join unit. Obviously the world's random name, but obviously um, they, they're they based in China, but they've got European distribution as well. So I did email them about, about my car, so I sent a picture of the dash to them and the model year and the car and stuff and they recommended this one. So this is like a 6.2 inch screen, so it's going to fit around here, <clears throat> but I, I don't use, tend to use these vents anyway, <clears throat> so it's just going to be just over them. And I don't want like a massive screen to take away from the car as well, because you get the bigger ones and it just takes up the whole screen. And I can't use the vents, can't see the clock, can't use the demist, and I can't use the hazard button. But yeah, what's up? So, we got that one in. Mm -hmm. Microphone. Yeah. <clears throat> Where are you going to want this rooted? See, my idea is I want it somewhere around there. So, you're going to pull that trim off. Oh, God. That's quite a long trim, man. Yeah, it is. Pretty... It goes all the way to. Unless you want to just try and squeeze the wire down the side of it. Just try and push it in. Part of me is thinking, you know, like how we. Or do you want to put it up behind here? Or yeah, by, by the, yeah, we'll do that, dude. Put it by the steering wheel con. <clears throat> it's not going to be ideal with the engine mounts at the moment. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you won't hear about <laughs> that. Right, so if you want to... I'll chuck that through there if you want to grab it. Oh. And it shows it's present. Cool. There you go. Cool. In fact, you could just clip it here. Oh, if you wanted to. There we go. If you're happy with that. It's just got that clip in it, so I thought. 
Uh, oh, okay, it doesn't, it doesn't really be secure. That's not going to help. Leave that there for a sec. So everyone, I'm going to be speaking into, everyone's going to be hearing me from my crotch. Be fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice that there's a shed load of space down there as well. <clears throat> yeah, they, not a lot of cars have the holes. For you to just... Yeah. That's Mike. Okay, in. let's get that USB wire in as well, dude. <clears throat> this one here. Yeah. Which ones are longer or they're both the same length? Well, you both. might have two. Yeah, there is two. two. So you could have one each side if you wanted. <laughs> yeah, because extra music. It's really nice. The bass. So how do you update this unit then? Just out of curiosity. No idea. That is out Is of it my... like a like a, a memory stick somewhere? That is out of my uh... Regional knowledge. Okay. And not that technology. I think there's an there's an SD card there, isn't it? it? Looks like it. Yeah, so just uh <clears throat> Yeah, but I think the price was quite good as well, is um two six nine. That's not bad at all. Yeah, there was on like an offer on so I got it for two thirty. So I said it was originally gonna ship from Germany but with Britex and everything that happened, they said they'll ship it from China. Start ship from there, but then um, I did ask about the export prices as well because of while I pay a duty on the car thing, so they reimbursed me like 30, 30 pounds on it, so it came to two thirty. Oh, okay. But then obviously it went through customs and I uh, didn't have to pay duty, so happy days. Nice. Uh, is this DAB? I'd imagine. Probably is. I don't even use DAB, if I'm honest. Well, let's just put it in it. Well, if it's there, you'll use, use it. it. If it's not, you won't. So <clears throat> the SIM card into that the glove box and stuff again. Okay. Yeah, do that. I did that towards the end, didn't it? Let's just put the antenna on it. Oh, I might as well just it then. It's yeah. out of the way then. Yeah. <clears throat> Still love that wire, man. It's simple, but like. Yeah, that's out. how they all should be when you get a kit that's specific. No, I had to buy that separately. Oh right. Okay. Bought that separately. It's like it's cheap after you burn it. So um, that didn't come with the car. I just <clears throat> I just thought like that's like the same thing I've done with the door speakers. I bought um. A plug and play kit, so you'd have to splice into the wires, use existing harness. Um, yeah, I don't know what this is for. Uh, but, um, it's going to be one of these. Uh, which one does the world to say what? So it says 4G div. Yeah. And 4G pry. But maybe we should read instru instructions or something. Yeah, I was about to say. Hang <clears> on, <throat> okay, there's a diagram there, though. I, read the diagram. Yeah. I think that's uh, just the wiring. Oh, okay. Mm, we'll double check, but. Yeah. What are you trying to do? The cages. Oh, the cage is always tight in it. Just it. Yeah, we we'll leave it loose in it before we fully confirm. Well, it's in loose before, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, so there you go, the join units. So they've got a dark I think that's dark just for the, uh, the actual harness itself. Oh, okay, yeah, because you've got the complex, all the cannabis units and stuff in the reverse camera as well. Oh, we're gonna I'm gonna buy the reverse camera. Okay. Mm. Um. So one of them, and then yeah. we just see if it works or not. If it doesn't, we'll swap over to the other. Yeah, it's fine. We'll do that. Obviously, we're. We'll see what works. Okay. Or at least the new 3M tape. Yeah. Okay, on the back you can reposition it. Okay. You know, like the screws, the screws on the back are there. So basically on the back of it, there's like little screws so you can angle the screen higher and lower. It's quite responsive to be fair. I thought it might be a bit slow. What Where are you trying is... to do? It's a DAB. Um... <clears throat> That's right, I'm only going to be living here for a couple more minutes. It's taking its time, isn't it? What's that doing? Okay. Accelerate for the rocket. I need Cruise extra control as well. That's it. Mm. We'll stop the camera for a bit. I'm sure you guys are bored to death watching the screen load up and the amount of screen glare that we've got at the moment. Yeah, I see the amount of screen glare. I think it thinks we're still in Russia. Right, we'll cut back to in a bit, guys. We've um, found the, the satellite's found our location. So right guys, we're just going to pair up the phone to try and get everything going, so I've put my thing on, has it found me? 
Yeah. So it's literally best capital B. Then one, two, three, four. I shall allow it to join. Oh, so it's connected. Now. Connected now. Calculating route. That tells you how to do the uh, Bluetooth pairing. Hmm. I'm going to cut my phone because. Oh, look, the, uh, the things in the handle as well. Yeah, V tech in every woman. So let's put it on as a sun visor. Okay. So, yeah, what will have to route it up there, isn't it? Hmm. I don't know how that is. Hang on, man. Do you have to tell it we're in? Tell it in the. the uh, hang on, might be the thing we have to tell it we're in the UK. So, how do we do that? So if we go back to, you know, like the nav button. Oh, no, there we are. No, okay, let's work it out. Don't see my <laughs> Don't see my drift. So, right, it's worked. There we go. So, happy days. Um, oh, it shows the petrol stations as well. Yeah, how cool, cool is that? Um, right, um, let's get the other stuff going then. Uh, settings. Right. Oh, so how do you reckon the Apple CarPlay then? Um, you don't, wouldn't you have to hook it up to the Bluetooth on your phone? Yeah, the Bluetooth. First. That's all stuff's on it. Well, it's connected via the Wi-Fi. Yeah, so but it won't be on Bluetooth. Google, you can do Google Maps now. Oh. Cancel, skip there. I think you need to hook up your Bluetooth first to the CarPlay. For a better experience, okay. Alright, so how do we do that then, dude? What is uh, okay. We'll go to your home. We'll go to settings again, wherever that was. There. Device. Device. Yeah. Device. No, that's, that's what no. I mean. Oh. Oh, right there. Bluetooth. Okay. So my Bluetooth is on. Set. Device and then that's this device. So I got to hook up to it then. Pairing password is zero 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 zero. We'll confirm that. Okay, I found it. It's gonna pair with it on my phone. So what, zero 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 four, four zero. Okay, pair. Okay, it's telling me to go home. Go home, Ali. <laughs> Is that telling me like 25 minute drive home tra traffic uh, is light? Is that connected now? Yeah, yeah it says it's connected. Yeah, so we connected there. Is it car link? Sure. Yeah, connecting. Okay. It's a bit dumb. Uh, yes, yes. So it's paired up on my phone. News CarPlay. No, oh, this is what I'm waiting for. Authenticated. Authenticated. My arm is <laughs> Callum's dying. Callum's now an arm model. My finger you know, is breaking as well. They said it's authenticated. Come on, girl. Just give me the light. <laughs> give more points. So, um, microphone. What's that? Then? I was just kicking on, sir. Okay. Getting paid from Connecting iPhone. Come on, girl. So there was an Apple CarPlay as well. Have I got to click can that? You, can Have you I got to click that then? Car link. Yeah, right. I think that. Uh, yeah. So what we've done, gone on to Wi-Fi. I've had to then join the car link. Yeah, let's address that. Connecting low data. Low data mode. What says it's connected? There we go. Ah, oh, yes, there we go. Do not connect CarPlay when Bluetooth is running. Okay. So that's fine. It's fine. I'll do that. Cool. Just tell me where my home is now. <laughs> Brilliant. Don't sell it. Don't, don't, look it. <laughs> don't look at that. No, no. Okay. It's obsessed with that. Oh, that's sick. I'm loving this. That's beautiful. So my phone book. Oh, those audio books. So if I call, call them, call don't them. look at it. Don't look at that. Don't look at anything. You're not allowed. All right, there we go. Happy days. 
We've got Apple CarPlay linked in. So it all seems to be working. So it all seems to be working. I'm happy, Chappy. Let's just uh, shove all this mess in. And Callum can go rest his arm. I'm going to put that somewhere. Um, yeah, we shove it in the glove box. Okay. So turn oh. everything off so I can so, yeah. undo turn the screen turn that. again. Save the screen. So everything works. We're happy about that. So that's good. Turn that off. Should now, every time I start the car, and I've got my stuff turned on, it should right. be able to go well, straight to the car play. So, have you got enough length on the wires? See, the only wire that we're going to have to worry about, so this one is, do we even need this now, because we've got Apple CarPlay? It's for the sat-nav, isn't it? Alright, we'll just leave, we'll leave, I think this, this is enough length of there anyway, isn't it? We're not going to go any further. Should this can one... Can you run it down the side? If you open that door, can you run it down that side of the dash? Um, it's, a, it's a solid piece. Can you, is there any gap you can like, force the wire into, so then you can leave? I don't know, dude, just one, literally just one screw. Oh, just... You know, it's in, it's in one Philip screw, Philippe screw. I was thinking you would be able to wire, put put that wire up there mm. and then put the antenna in the corner maybe? Yeah, that seems like a plan. Yeah, so run it up through there and out here. Oh, I'm just thinking, do you reckon that's just one piece and it flops up? We could probably do the same with the uh, antenna for the DAV as well. Yeah, we should do that, then we'll wire them all the way through it. That's a good plan indeed. I bought my electric screwdriver today as well. That will speed up the process. We're just going to throw everything through this hole. Pretty much. Dude, it's like a cavernous thing. Even when we took this apart, there was so much space. It was uncanny. Yeah. Could, someone can move in, and I was like, Callum, you can pay rent if you need to live in somewhere. <laughs> Working on the car, and we're inside, and it's, it's, it's and not it's sunny. It's sunny outside. Yeah. Cool. Have you chucked it all the way through? I chucked it down there. You might just have to reach up and find it. Got the got the, the gate. Which one? Why was it? I found it. Oh, okay. He went down the wrong. He went in the wrong hole. Okay. Happy days. <laughs> so I don't know if it's like me pay, paying you not for an extra sim. Then I got Apple CarPlay now, and it so don't really matter. Oh, that's perfect. That works really nice. Yeah. Then if you take this, you know, electric screwdriver. It's in the foot world. Yeah. So we take that, you know, that screw in the, that one at the top, at the, basically, without me ruining my door. I'm going to open it on someone. So there's a screw here. Take that tab off. I think there's, I think there's one on this side. The one in the corner down there. Oh, it's too short. You don't feel right. Get right in there. Uh, we'll have to get along, Philippe, then. Hopefully that panel just pops off now, isn't it? It's going to make that horrible noise, uh, just so you know. Yeah, make sure that if any things like... Uh. There we go. Yeah. So, you want to... might have to undo... Which one was it? This one. If you tug on it. Yeah, it's that one. If I undo this wire one. Do 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 do. I'm happy with the uni though, it's really responsive isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm quite interested. Do they come with a double din? Um... You can do single din and double din. Okay. So I, 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 didn't, I didn't go for the bigger screen because purely under the fact, you know what? I didn't want it to, um, like I said, you need, like it just becomes a so focal point of the car. Yeah. It's besides the point, isn't it? You want to be, I know, I know like you want, you want to be able to see the sat nav and drive and stuff, but um, I think it then just super dates the car in it. Yeah, I mean, the only reason I'd have a double din in mine is because the hole is for a double din. So, yeah. obviously, no, I was tempted like that because we bought, I bought the other one in it. That guy that I bought the car off, he gave me the the massive unit. So you have, but then you, I look into it and stuff. But um, all the buttons wouldn't work. The heated control wouldn't work because this is mechanical. Yeah. And the newer one on the facelift the EK9 and stuff that had um, is all is all electrical. And I was like, I'm not paying five hundred pound and spending a, a top of a head unit just to have. A bigger screen is just pointless, yeah. and everything doesn't fit right, and the wind decides to come, to ruin everything. That's why it's going to be just hidden out of the way in the corner of the wind. Yeah, yeah, it's hidden out of the way. Right, I'll leave them there so you can stick them wherever you want to stick them. So there'll be enough wire to pull through. Now. Mm. So the 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 nav, in it, the nav we're going to put down there, right here, or should we put it up there? 
I've already put it up there, the GPS. All right, cool. The GPS and the DAB is up there in the corner. What should we do about the mic? The mic, you could probably do the same thing and stick it in this vent. Yeah, let's do that then, dude. Uh, What's this one? Ah, oh, my head. What's this one for? I literally don't know, dude. Because how many, like... Because there is another one. So, you know what, just stick them up. Because <laughs> I mean, obviously you're going to do it, put it all together and go, Ah, oh, mm. you know what, needed that one, so let's plug it in, stick it in. We don't know which... which it's, just, it's just them two holes, in it? Yeah, so let's just stick this one in. Alright. And put it in the glove box, it's worst case. Yeah, I got a funny... Yeah, you know what the funny thing is? I, get, get, I bet you that's the dab one now. Well, regardless, just stick it just in. Just stick it in. We'll hide it somewhere. Alright. Whether, it, whether it even if it's in the glove box or whatever. Or we have to relocate it after. At least if they're all plugged in. Mm. Feed the wires in. Okay. And then try and bring all that behind there. Take a can. Because it goes quite far in. I mean, you could actually run it through this side. Oh, no, you wouldn't. No, I wouldn't have to do that. Pushed it and it went in. Alright, happy days. <sighs> cool. <coughs> oh god, that made me jump. <laughs> <laughs> He's got an Apple CarPlay unit. So this kind of makes up for the ruining the what you, what you have to. Just a little something just to pull the screwdriver or something just to pull the trim out a little bit. Um, got some Allen keys. MX5 kid. <laughs> MX5. Keeping it JDM. Keeping it. Okay, just giving it some wriggle room. Yeah, just to push it in behind there. Okay. <laughs> Down there. Perfect. Okay. And then we can put that's the sat nav. Mm. Yeah, don't don't stick them down yet after I'll make a decision. I'm, not, I'm not gonna stick them, I'm just gonna root the wires. Alright, cool. Cool sat now on the dash. Happy days. Alright. Unit essentially all done now, isn't it? Yeah, we just need to tidy up some of the wire in. Mm. And, uh, okay, you want to leave it off. I was thinking because the did they move down there? Oh, no, you could just chuck in if you wanted to. I just thought. Oh yeah, we just need. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I neatened up the wires so that will tuck it in. There's that one last one to do. Which one is that? That's the. I don't know. Okay, it's look. one of the ones that are going around here. So we will just try and tidy it up a bit. Cool. Yeah, but obviously it was, as it said, by the seller as well, like it's just been plug and play. I'll put an SD card in there later on. Um, just to like, you know, when you start the car up, I'll have the Honda logo to come up. I ain't got any more tires left. Take, take this off this one. Uh, how many USB sticks are you going to need? Well, that's what I was thinking, because you could put your phone charger in one and have USB... Stick in for your music and the other. I've got the USB plug here in it. Yeah, I know, but in that way you still have your access to your 12 volt socket if you need it. I've got, mate, I barely use anything anyway, it's just charging the phone and it, or I'm just passing that to the passenger to charge their phone. I never use it otherwise because we've got the sat nav unit in here. The best thing in it, you want the far, the, that phone charger when you use it up carplay because it rinses battery hard. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's very much. So we feed the wires. Feed, in. Is it, feed the wires back in at the back. Get that back into the door. In. Anyway, possible. Oh man, these are like these. Are, there's a lot of wires. Yeah. Now that space that we wanted is, is gratefully that's there. Cool. We need to put the area in as well. I forgot about that. Oh okay. Where did that go? It's down there somewhere. I've got, got it. Oh, that wire is not even that long, is it? No, it really isn't.
Okay. Yeah, kind of grateful now we've got all that space. Kind of used all of it as well. Yeah, so we loosen the sides up, put the cage in first. Should we take the plastic tape off around it? Uh, and leave it in it. No. I guess it stops us from scratching the trim as well. It's a tight fit. It's a very tight fit. Okay, actually, the worst case now we've got the old one. These tabs on the side stuff in it there, maybe. It's just a tight fit. It's that hard to get in, do you know what I mean? It's just a... mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, we will get. Okay, perfecto. There we go. You just gotta, gotta be, be a bit, bit, bit more aggressive. Alright, let's get that screen on. It's a tight fit because when you hit VTEC, uh, it's not going to come flying out. Otherwise. We'll test it as well, innit? Make sure everything's on. Yeah. Cool. Are you supposed to push into the tabs, innit? There we go. It's perfect, at least you can still press the hazards and stuff. There we go. Still, still everything's still usable here. Yeah, there's a bit of clearance and stuff, but I don't use these vents anyway, so I'm happy about that. But I think, like I said, it's perfect size, isn't it? Oh, it's annoying. The newer ones don't have the knob. Is it touchscreen? Yeah, no, no, touch is all touchscreen, so I went in one specifically with the, with the knob in it. Yeah, glove box still works with all the wires and stuff. They're all tucked away. Are you sure you want to go there? Let's have a look. Yeah, that's fine. We're just leaving there at the moment. Cool. Yeah, the panel. It's all on. Cool. If we then just do. What are we after? Is it it's car link in it? No, it was always the case, and it's sitting on there when you need it. Authenticated phone. Happy days. Check it. Cool. Do not do not connect Bluetooth while. Car. Okay, that's fine. It's all running. Okay, you see Apple CarPlay. Uh, happy days. I'm trying to think what other apps. Oh yeah, there we go. There's all the apps. So we got the music. So do. We've got Waze, we've got WhatsApp on as well, mate. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's it, WhatsApp, Spotify. I'll have to log into this stuff when I get home. If I do Waze. Oh, Save for follow instructions on your phone. Okay, cool. There we go. Well, I'll let you peel off the sticker and stick them because that's the most satisfying bit of all of this is peeling off the No, sticker. no, it's not that because we're going to, I'm just going to work, run with it for a bit, innit? Okay. And then sort of see, work out where I need to put them. But I'm, I think I'm genuinely happy about this. I can't believe I've got Apple CarPlay. I'm going with Apple CarPlay in my 2011 car. <laughs> That's the funny thing. So then you just go back home. To be fair, where did we go? Where's the music one? Oh, right, we've got bass. We're just going to turn the music off for a second and sort of see so we can do surround sound, the bass enhancement. Okay. That's quite cool. If you, uh, I think it gives you all the different yeah, presets as well. Yeah. I'll have to play around with it when I'm in the car as well. But I'm happy with that. Mega happy. You just turn it off and it just boots up. What, when you... Yeah. yeah. There's no like loading screen, that's what I'm saying. No, no, yeah, I think it just... It's happy enough to just work. Yeah, it just it boots up straight away, perfect. And obviously when you want to go to Apple CarPlay, pass that car link. Authenticate connecting phone. Cool, there we go, perfect. Easy as That's that. It. Easy as that. <laughs> Says the guy that did do any work. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'll put all the links for this app specifically unit so you can buy it yourself. I'm I'll test it around, see how it goes after a couple of months. It does come with a two year warranty as well, so that's a nice peace of mind when you're buying it, kind of spending that kind of money. You just send it back to them, they repair it or give you a new unit. Um, but yeah, I'm giving them the face value how it sits and how it looks. Um, it's perfect, fit and finish to be fair. Yes, 
probably see that bit there, but hey ho. Yeah, you can see on this side a little bit. As see, yeah, well. uh, it's not the end of the world. If you really wanted to, you could just make some three D prints, some grommets to go around there. But at the end of the day, um, who really cares? Everything works. You can see it. It's not de detrimental to the actual unit. Um, it kind of works. Coincides. Next thing is going to be now is upgrading the OME speakers. So I'll order them. Waste more of my money into this car. Um, <laughs> So I have to do some figures adding up to see how much money we spent on the car so far. It's probably coming up to near to the value of the car now. Um, but you reckon? Yeah, uh, yeah, go do. Uh, I spent like two hundred quid today just on parts. Oh really? If we add about it, the parts and the brake pads, that's another two hundred and twenty quid. So yeah, I think we're coming quite close up to. It. Yeah. But like I said, it's all used for mods that you can do new to new on a day-to-day -day basis, like the steering wheel, OME. Just, it just makes everything. But I'm trying to use OME parts where I can. But where it isn't an aftermarket is better than I'll go aftermarket like we did with the brakes and the and the pads. A lot of what you're doing um, is modernise an old car at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. modernise an old car to make it better livable, like the gear change and the gear shift. You might as well make the simple things like the little USB uh, cigarette lighter thing there. Like I said, you're not trying to take away from the car and how it runs and how it is. Yes, the engine swap and the stuff later on will take the power to where I want it to be, but where it is at the moment, this stuff you're going to use day-to-day -day basis, like when you're steering wheel the gear knob, sat nav you're just going to use them all the time so it just makes the experience way better but yeah guys that sort of concludes the video uh it's a perfect head unit fits in uh, it's by joying put all the links in the description but as always guys it's uh it's always an adventure take care bye